everyone today we will study about estimating the sum and the difference i know you all have learned in standard 4 the method of estimating the sum and the difference to nearest thousands and ten thousands and now here we will apply the same rule as well now let me just give you an example suppose i have a number 25 fine when we have to round off a given number to the required place, we always consider the next number to the right side. Now, if this number is 5 or more than 5, the number at the required place is increased by 1 or we can say we have to add 1 to it. And all the numbers at the right side become zeros. And if this number is less than 5, Fine means the number at the right side is less than 5 then the number at the required place means the number which we have to round off remains the same and all the numbers at the right side becomes zeros. For example here in 25 if I have to round off 2 the number next to its right side is 5 and if this number is 5 or more than 5 then this number which I am going to round off will get increased by 1. It means it will become 3 and all the number to its right side will be written as zeros. Now here in the second example if I have to round off this 2 so I have to see the number which is next to its right side. So if it is less than 5 then this number which I am going to round off will remain as it is. It means 2 will remain 2 but the numbers to its right side all the numbers will become zeros. So here when I will round off 25 it will become 30 because here the digit to its right side is 5. So the number which I am going to increase will get increased by 1. It will become 3 and the number to its right side will be written as zeros. Now in this case if I have to round off 2 now here 2 will remain 2 because the number next to its right side is less than 5. But all the numbers which are written to its right side will be written as zeros. So this is how we can round, round off the numbers according to the given places. Now let me here give you an example where I will be doing the estimation that is estimating the sum and estimating the difference. So first of all find the actual and estimated sum of 3,80,419 and 2,18,765 by rounding off to the nearest lakh. Here I have given you um, an example of a very small number that is 25 and 24 but now we are going to do the estimation of 6 or 7 digit numbers. So here in this question we have to find the actual and estimated sum of these two numbers by rounding off to the nearest lakh. It means which place we have to round off? Lakhs place. So first of all we will find the actual sum. So we will we'll write the actual numbers and we will just add them and our answer will be 5,99,184 but now we will find the estimated sum. Whenever the word estimated will come it means you are supposed to round off. So we have to round off the which place? Lakhs place. Here this is the lakhs place. So let us underline it. Fine. So we have to see the digit next to its right side. If it is 5 or more than 5. So this number which we have to round off will get increased by 1. It means 3 will become 4. But all the numbers next to its right side will be written as zeros. So here we have 5 numbers. So there will be 5 zeros. Now it means... 3,80,419 is rounded off to 4 lakh. Now let's take the next one. Here we have to round off 2. But we need to see the number next to its right side. It is less than 5. If it is less than 5, this number will remain as it is. It means 2 will remain 2. But all the numbers next to its right side will be written as zeros. That is 2,18,765 is rounded off to 2 lakh. And now we will find the estimated sum. We will add these two numbers and our answer will be 6 lakh. Fine. So this is the actual sum. This is the estimated sum. Now we will just do one question related to estimated difference. So find the actual and the estimated difference of 8,32,910 and 5,90,100 by rounding off to the nearest lakh. 
So now we'll apply the same rule. So first of all, we'll find the actual difference. So we will write the actual numbers. A greater number will be written on the top and smaller number at the bottom and we will subtract them and find the actual difference and that will be 2,42,810 but now we also need to find the estimated difference it means we need to round off these two numbers and we have to round off which place lakhs place so let us underline the lakhs place so here we need to round off 8 so we need to see the digit next to its right side it is less than 5, so 8 will remain 8, but all the numbers to its right side will be written as zeros. It means 8,32,910 is rounded off to 8 lakh. Now next, we have to round off 5, so we need to see the digit next to its right side, just next to its right side, and it is more than 5. It means 5 will get increased by 1, so it will become 6, but all the digits next to its right side will be written as zeros and now we'll subtract these numbers and find the estimated difference and the estimated difference is 2 lakh. So dear students, this is how you can find the actual sum and actual difference by rounding off the numbers.